three go. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, morning. sir. How are you today? Fine. Good morning, Thank you. sir. I hope you are everyone fine and doing well. Yes. Can I ask everyone please stand? And Miss Lainey, go in front and hit the prayer, please. Okay, classmates, bow your head, close your eyes, and Dear Lord, thank you for this wonderful morning. Thank you for the guidance. Teach us as we learn and study our lessons for today. In this name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Ms. Lani. Does everyone sit down? I think everyone is feeling um, sleepy today. So that um, I prepared an energizer game. Uh, that's what we call the, a group of words. The mechanics of these games are many small pieces of the paper are in the box um, that contains questions or words. The box will be passed around the class um, accompanied with music. And I tried the music first. Is the music audible? Yes, yes sir. sir. And uh, once the music is stopped, the one who holds the box um, will get uh, one piece of the paper. Then answer the following question. So, are you ready, guys? Yes, yes sir. <laughs> so, I give the box. Then, please pass around to the class. Then I play the music. Is the one doesn't 
belong. Yes, amazing. Please give your um, happy clap. In connection of that, our topic for today is about collective nouns. Before our um, discussion is start, I give the rules to my class. First, listen um, respectfully, um, don't murmuring. Second, listen actively and unear to understand um, others' um, views. Second, criticize ideas, not individual. And uh, uh, committing learning, not debating. Um, please, guys, um, avoid blame or inflammatory language. And the last one, I allow everyone to, to speak. Then if you want to um, recite or if you want... Uh, and, or you have a question, please raise your hand and I give the honor to uh, speak. So that. Listen. Earlier, I said our topic for today is collective nouns. Please read what is collective nouns, the definition. Miss Rachel. Collective nouns are aimed for a collection or a number of people or things. Thank you. And uh, collective nouns contains words that describe groups or animals, people, or things. Uh, these words are sometimes interchangeable, and English writers and speakers often use them to describe different things. For example, clock. Do you know, guys, what is clock? Yes. Anyone? Yes, sir. Um, how about Mr. Luke? Um, I think uh, clock uh, is commonly used to describe uh, groups of birds. Yes, correct. Flock is a group of birds also used to discuss small group animals such as sheep and goats. How about group? Anyone to the class? Anyone? And I give the I give her I, I give the example pictures. This is the example of flock. The group of birds. And uh, who wants to identify the group? Anyone? So, uh, Mr. Jason? I think it is a group of people like tribes or others. Correct. Thank you, Mr. Jason. Group, a very general term used to describe people things or animals. Um, Jason said tribes. That's a good one example of the group. Then, after that, I have an activity. Is C. C. 
see a band of musicians. Um, number two, who wants to answer it? Mr. Luke? Uh, a block of experts, panel, letter D. Letter D, panel. Can you uh, read that again? Uh, with the answer? A panel of experts. Very good. Can you match it? Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, number three. Yes, Mr. Jason? <laughs> And block of ants. Um, army. Correct. Mm -hmm. So please read again with the answer. An army of ants. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Can you match it? Number four. Who wants to answer? Miss Liney. A block of fish. A black of fish. Correct. I scold of fish. Can you match it? How about the last one? Can you try, Rachel, to answer? A block of flowers. Okay. A bouquet of flowers. Very good. Can you match it now? This activity is an uh, example of the collective nouns, like uh, uh, number one, a panel of, uh, number one, a band of musicians. Um, it means the group of musicians. And uh, like number three, an army of ants, um, like an idiom, because I, I know that there's no one army in the ants, you check me if I'm wrong. Then, collective noun can be singular or plural. Who wants to read the first bullet? Please line me with, with read the first word. The first how to know. The. The show. The show yes. that were moving up. What is in this sentence on represent represent show is a singular. So what is the answer? Was or where? Was. Very good. So that. Um, the shoal was moving north. How about the next bullet? Can you try to read and answer, Mr. Gason? Shoal was learning in all directions. Um, this sentence, shoal is represent plural. Plural. And what where? Where? Very good. So the answer is where. The shoal were dirting in all directions. Um, it's, it's plural because considered a lot of individuals. I'm sorry. Then another one example. And then, look, please read. There is always an incredible crowd that follows me. Yes, correct. Why? Why you said the answer is follows? Um, because there um, um, no one who that follow me, there are many. Sir. What is that, many? Very good. So the answer is follows. Uh, uh, class, do you understand? Yes, sir. What is a collective nouns? Yes, sir. 
Then uh, I have an activity. Okay, number one, please read. Miss Laini. Our class took a field trip to the natural history museum. So, where is the collective, collective dance there? Yeah. Correct. Right. Can you underline it? Very good. How about number two? Can you try, Mr. Gayson? The herd of bison ran across the Ferrari, leaving a mass of dust cloud in this way. Where is the collective nouns there? Right. Very good. Can you underline it? So what is the bison? Uh, a furry uh, animal. Yes. Very good. Uh, clap your hand. Uh, clap. For Jason's answer. And number three, Rachel. Peter. Can you answer it with um, first read? We waited anxiously for the jury to come to a verdict. Correct. Please underline the words jury. How about number four? Laini, can you answer it again? This year's basketball team includes three players who are over six feet tall. What, do you, what is the collective dance there? Their team? A team? Another. Yes, team. Can you underline the word team? And also the last one, look, this no. read. The Polish, the Polish army meeting was finally defeated at Waterloo. Answer. Army Very good. So class, the activity was uh, clarify the collective nouns are there like class, herd, jury, team, <coughs> army. Um, they say that um, collective nouns uh, like collection, a number of people or things or a group. Then I have an activity. This bring one half Cross a paper. Then list twenty collective nouns and um, defining list. 20 examples of collective nouns. I give you our 10 minutes to answer.
Is quiet. Are you done? Yes. How about Jason? Just hold it. one of you answer. Try to answer, for example, collectively. And uh, it, it's meaning. Are you done, Naini? You have five minutes left to answer. Are you done? Yes, sir. Okay. If you are done, let's try to answer. So, give me one example. Miss Laini, can you give one example of collective nouns and their use, uses? Show. Show. Show in the group of two. Correct. Very good. Please come for a round of us. And how about Jason? File. Then file. It is an untidy collection of items such as rubbish. Very good. How about Rachel? Then the uses. Very good. How about Mr. Du? Uh, Bonga user. Yes, okay. Uh, it may use as a group of flowers. Yeah. A group of flowers. Correct. Okay, a group of flowers. <laughs> How about Billy? Paul, sir. Paul. It is uh, used whether it rains, snow, or hot. Yes, correct. All of you um, is correct so that um, I think you know what is collective nouns is. So, 
Um, can you pass the paper? I think collective nouns um, that you know, collective nouns are names for a collection or a number of people or things. Um, example is flock that I gave and group. Like a band of musician, a band of soldier, a bubble of barbers. Um, and then, your um, uh, tomorrow assignment, please write. In your assignment, you make three paragraph entitled Story of My Life. Entitled Story of My Life. Uh, using collective nouns in a one whole sheet of yellow pad paper. The rubrics are the one content 40%, the ideas 30%, the grammar is 20%. Total of 100%. And class, are we clear now? Yes, yes sir. sir. Uh, that's call of the day. And uh, um, goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, Bye, sir. sir. Thank you.